Okay, welcome back to my channel, This Imaginations, and let's continue where we left off last time with our Gryffindor. I'm supposed to get up there. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that your Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Well, um, usually the, the casting without words is uh, like without incantation is quite challenging, even for the most uh, skillful wizards and witches in the Harry Potter universe, so perhaps it's just a, a bit more practice will help her, but it's usually something like a uh, an, an talent that is uh, indent, like part of the character, part of the person before they can do that, but yeah. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer! I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Ah, so she can cast spells without incantation. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Yeah, that's correct. Like many people uh, are experiencing challenge, challenge to it. It's not not impossible, but it takes quite a bit of practice. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Thank you. Have a sip. Go on. What is the spice with? I know you got it. I know that you like spicing things up. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? 
Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. <laughs> oh, that must be awkward. <laughs> Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. <laughs> Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. I know she will. <laughs> Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Some reactions, you say? Hmm. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Thank you. So, how am I supposed to speak with her? Okay. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Right. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? It is true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, Good that question. you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale the tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Of you. Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Okay. I think this is the perfect. If I'm not mistaken. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Sure now, that. in light of your unique situation. Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. 
They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay, I don't know if you are seeing this totally uh, the way I am seeing it, this but way. sometimes it happens and I will probably restart the game after this um, the guide interaction. Will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. And continue recording after that. For now, it's a, oh no, it's still here. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! I just have to say that the way she's ah, walking the down the stairs some information for you is absolutely funny. <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. The portrait depicts the wizard Baruf Barufio, famed for his brain elixir and is an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how can you mistake an S for an F? <laughs> you just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here, okay? Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP, okay? We know that. This is your wizarding level. HP earned from challenges because uh, increases your level and power. Okay. And your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. And uh, select the, we need to select the challenge in the menu to continue. Okay. I'm still waking up. Don't blame me that I don't do it right. Each challenge has tiers. Perfect. Special rewards unlock it each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. We know that. But just for the recording. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste, you have classes to attend. Wait, we passed the one I to which passage? We should not have done that ah, yet. Good timing. Oh. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Oh, come on. I was going to take the field guide from the one I which, but ugh, oh, okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. Yeah, we know that. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms and the great hall. Yes. Select the south wing region to continue. Okay. In the view you can see the four flames, the four flames available in that region. 
during full flames or present flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grateful flames will be the locations the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where we will find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, library and green towers. Okay. Yeah, there we go. This one. Okay. Use tab A and B to rotate the map and fast travel to the center of how full flames. Okay. We're here. Center of all right. Yep. I believe we have just a bit more and here on this we are. quest. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Sure that, Professor Ronan. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. 
And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, let's finish the talk with Professor Fick and then we will restart the game. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. This represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story and look new features and ground experience. Okay. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay. Let's go for jump squads. Yeah, sounds good. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Yeah, just a moment. The jam compass will lead you to anything you are tracking. We know that. Okay. I will start the game here and I'll be right back with the next part so we can continue and do a bit of gameplay. Thank you for watching so far and I will see you in a bit. Feel free to subscribe, like and comment on the video. And bye!